Hello, everybody. Yeah. Welcome back. Thank you, new subscribers. What we're doing here, it's turned. Turned. It's what we call down south. Turned. We got this axe together. Uh, it, it turned out amazing. Uh, five pound uh, council. Got a heck of a profile. Uh, we chamfered the pole. Uh, put a nice custom wedge in it. One of Pop's 45 caliber shell casings. Little added touch. Got the uh, brand on it. We flamed, we flamed the handle just slightly. I wanted to raise the grain just a little bit. And of course we got him an old Doug fir pitch spot in there. Fixed the palm swell a little bit. I kind of worked it over on the end, smoothed it all off, you know. The sandal's got a great grain in it. I'll take that all day. I wanted to bring y'all back because we're getting ready to make this puppy come to life. Oh yeah, and I did the, the the, the special thing that I was referring to we were going to do for this man was uh, make it like the, uh, uh, another one, which personally belongs to me. I've got one of these, okay? But I use it on a 27-inch Adirondack curved handle full wedge banger. But I cut phantom bevels in it. And this is the second one I've ever done. Y'all let me know what you think. There's only two like it in the world. Council don't make this axe. They make the axe, but I do the Phantom Bevel version. Yeah. And I wanted this axe to look like it was 30 year old, you know? I wanted it to have that patina, that that, uh, that wear, weathered look, you know? You know what I'm, what I'm going after? And I think I nailed it. It don't look like it's new out of the box, and that's what I wanted. That pole is amazing. Let's put some Watco on it. That's the last thing I'm going to do before I box it up. This has been fun. I've never done one of these with a straight handle. Let me open it up here. I hope this isn't stuck. If it is, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to open it up like I'm going to right now. Get me a little Watco out here. I love watching these old handles come to, to come to life. I've never been here back from the, what kind of finish you wanted, but I believe Watco will be good for the simple fact he's going to be swinging it a lot. And what we didn't want is for it to be slipping and sliding out of his hand. You know? Let's get a little bit on the rag here. But I love to do this and watch, look at that handle coming alive. Watch this. Oh my. Isn't that awesome how that does that? That grain just comes right out. Look at that. I got a house full of people, y'all just have to hear them in the background is all I know. But this is beautiful. I tell you what, one of these days I might be as good as old Tom Joyner. <laughs> I doubt it. Old Tom, he's got it going on, don't he? Uh, him and Casterman and Hicks. You others, these guys, they just... It's second to none, you know. Those guys, they have to find axe. 
They're actually really work smart if you want to know the truth about it. They are truly works smart. I'm going to put plenty on here, you know. I want to soak it up good. Before I put it in the box, I'll probably coat it again. Coat that steel, too. It's actually a good preservative of metal. I didn't know that, but it is. And it really makes that head look nice. It pops. Oh, yeah. Oh my, is that not a tool or what? Huh? We'll get a little bit on that eye. Turn it back just a little bit. There you go. Oh yeah. Get that down in there. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, we'll let that soak down in that eye. I appreciate y'all hanging with me. I've got a lot of knife orders. Always looking for something. I've got draw knives. Went and picked up a whole truckload of leather today from a saddle maker. He said, uh, you ever need any leather? Just come on back. I'll sell you a whole bend of it. I mean, I couldn't hardly get it all in the Bronco for cheap. So he said for saddle making, it's no good. But for what you're going to do, knife sheaths and stuff, oh, yeah. He said, it's perfect. I said, I'll take it. So I bit the bullet and brought it home. So I got plenty of leather now. Black and tan and brown and all kinds of thicknesses and shapes. I want you to look what an axe. Didn't that turn out gorgeous? Mm -hmm. I love it. There you go. We'll probably soak that eye two or three times. Let that get down in that wood grain. Goatsy, I hope you like that, buddy. You ought to be able to split wood for days. And if you can't, let me know. We'll fix it. I'm going to put a nice clean edge on that really sharp. Got one more surprise for him. I'll get it in the box. We'll get this puppy shipped out Thursday. Appreciate y'all watching. Supper time. God bless you. Watch top now.